As the reopening of the economy in the United States accelerates, so are cases of COVID-19. The rise in positive cases and in hospitalizations in some states is deeply worrying, as Jackson Prosco explains. With summer looming, Americans are riding a fresh wave of COVID-19. In Florida, a new hotspot, a group of 16 friends contracted the virus after a night out. I was one of those people that were like, ah, come on, it's not that serious, and I got it. Over the last week, in 21 states, case counts have been on the rise. Six of those states reported record daily increases with troubling trends in Arizona, Texas, and Florida. Each state reported more than 2,000 new cases per day. The curve is rising sharply. And it's not just the numbers of cases from testing, uh, it's being paralleled by a big rise in the, uh, in the hospitalizations. Far from worried, most states are refusing to lock back down. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, President Donald Trump is set to hold his first campaign rally in months this Saturday, even as cases spike. The CDC has said unequivocally that this is the highest risk event for transmission of the virus. This is a super spreader event in downtown Tulsa. In Texas, the governor blocked any move by local mayors to require the use of face masks. All of us have a collective responsibility to educate the public that wearing a mask is the best thing to do. Putting people in jail, however, is the wrong approach. The White House has gone so far as to suggest the virus is under control. If we stop testing right now, would have very few cases, if any. But it's not that simple. Arizona now has one of the highest case positive rates in the world, and hot weather has shown no signs of slowing the virus. And I'm uh, a real proponent now of dialing up, dialing things back, um, getting people out of the bar, uh, getting people, you know, away from uh, crowded areas. In many corners of the country, that's unlikely to happen, as politics, not science, drives the response to the pandemic. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.